Good morning. How's it going? Welcome to another day. Um, let's start by pulling a knee in. We're going to rotate the ankle one direction and then the other. So today is a big combo day. Um, not only just combo moves, but um, funky counting as well. So um, a lot of the exercises that we're going to do today, um, like I said, are combos of things that we've done before. Um, and we're going to try to put it together. So take your legs nice and wide, hinge over to your left. Um, so, you know, there may be some adjusting that I have to do along the way. Um, I'm not super practiced in it, but it's really good to throw the body off sometimes, try some new things. All right, we're going to hinge to the other side. So um, part of the workout is going to be a little mental meaning we have to just keep track of what we've done, what we've counted, um, and uh, we'll just figure it out along the way. So plant uh, your hands in between. We're in a wide forward fold, and now just small little shifts side to side. Get your hips kind of open, slide your shoulder blades down, and grab your belly. So when I say grab your belly, um, it's be the same kind of idea as when we're in a plank or when you're in a crunch and you feel your abdomen contract, level off in the middle. We're going to rotate side to side with our arms. So see if you can slide your um, shoulders so that they stack. One arm's going to be planted into the ground, one hand, then rotate to the other side, trying to keep those hips level. Feel that little stretch in the mid back. So like when you, what I was saying on your core, when you're in a crunch or um, like one of those heel presses, anything that you feel that heat build in the abdomen, that's what we want to try to do when we're grabbing the core. We want to force those muscles to contract all the time, not just when we're in a crunch. Are we going to build the heat like we do in a crunch? No, but that's not what we're necessarily going for. Come down onto the ground. We're going to go hands and knees and we're going to shift forward and back. So just pushing behind, stretch through the shoulders, your back. Flex your glutes, push forward. We're going to go three. That's one. Hinging from the core. Two. And three. Okay. So I'm going to explain each exercise as it's coming instead of everything at the beginning. Um, I have... 15s, 10s, 8s, um, and then I'm going to be grabbing, I think, a 20, possibly a 25. Um, but, of course, anything that works along the way um, that you have available to you. So the first one we're going to do is um, a weighted burpee with a three-time press. So that is going to look like this. And if you'd like, you can kind of go through the motions with me, um, do some planks, some bird dogs, dead bugs, um, down dog planks while I'm kind of explaining everything. Keep your body in motion. You can go jumping jacks, mountain climbers, a um, few little fits and spurts. But as I said, I'm just going to explain the first exercise. So have your weight ready. Um, and maybe you don't use weights and that's okay. You can put the body under tension um you know envisioning that you're taking the weights with you so a weighted burpee you're gonna have your weights set just like where your hands would be when you're gonna come down for a burpee okay so if you don't jump you can step back but the idea would be to be able to jump with that plank position you're gonna hit a push-up right jump in and then you're gonna drop those hips curl in and then we're gonna go three two, and one. Then you'll drop your hands, jump back, jump up. So five cycles of the weighted burpee to three time press, okay? If you do not jump back, like I said, you can walk back. You can also step your left, step your right, drop, bring those weights up, curl and press. Or if you don't do the press, you can do an upright row. Three, two, one. Okay, so that is the showing of it. Now we're going to do it, and then I'll explain the next one. Grab that core, set your weights. Make sure that your hands are going to end up right underneath your shoulders. Ready, set, 
go, whatever option you choose to take. Hit your push up, drop in deep. Three, two, one. So there's one. Drop your weights, jump back, crunch in. Three, two, one. Keep your stance, heels, hip, shoulders. This is our third cycle. Drop your hips, curl. Two, one. Hit your push up. Fourth cycle. One, two, three. Last one. Drop those hips, curl first. Three, two, one. Woo. Okay, well done, well done. Next up, we're gonna do a push up to row. I'm gonna grab my 120. Who knows? I might be grabbing the 15s. So, this time, what's gonna happen is you're going to hit a push-up. If you need to be on your knees, that's fine. Push-up. And then, still, if you need to be on your rows or your knees, that's fine. After your push-up, um, you're going to try to hit a plank or your knees. You're going to row five, four, three, two, one, push-up, and then five on the other side. So we're going to end up rowing twice each arm. If you do not do a push-up, or a plank, um, I'm gonna have you come into, you just hold your one weight, come into a lunge, okay? Step back again, row five times, then you'll hit the other side. So instead of from the floor on your knees or on your toes, um, you're just gonna hit up from your, from your legs. All right, I'm actually gonna hold my weight under right arm to start, so one push up, Five rows. Get a wide base of support on your toes. So push up. Try not to rock your hips too much. Three, two, and one. All right. Now that other side. Push up. Watch those hips. Five, four, three, two, and one. Back to the other side. Elbows squeeze in. Five, four, three. Counter tip those hips so they stay as level as possible. Lots of core on this one. Push up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. Nice job. Okay, next up, we're gonna go into a little squat set. You're gonna do three half range squats and then a full squat. I'll hold my 120 and we're gonna do five rounds, five cycles of the three. Okay, so I'll show you real quick and then we'll start. So squat down, three, two, one, and then one. Okay, here we go. Drop. Three. Belly strong. Two. One. One. Four more. Three. Drop. Two. Feel those inner thighs grab, glutes grab, core strong. Three. Chest stays up off your rib cage. And drive up, there's four. Make sure those knees are lining up with toes. And five. Whew. Okay. We're gonna do a suitcase row to a kickback. Try my tens this time, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so shoulder blades are back. You're gonna drop the chest down so you're about parallel to the ground with your back. One row, 
three kickbacks and then you'll row again, okay, for five rounds. Sit those hips back, shoulders back and down. Here we go, elbows pull up. Three, be in control of the drop. Two, belly engages. One, now row, drop, pinch shoulder blades. Three, two, one. Let those knuckles drop. Again, row, pinch, three, two, one. Two more. Where's that core? Check in with the back, make sure it's flat. Feel those triceps, feel them from yesterday. Two, and one. Whew. No, you're doing it right when you feel the tens like that. Okay, those weights out of the way. So our last exercise of the cycle, then we get to repeat our sets. We're gonna go a single leg deadlift to three snatches. So you're basically gonna swing, snatching that weight all the way up overhead. Um, however high the weight goes is really up to you and your level of comfort. So this is our practice round, our example round. Balance on the left foot, just like you're doing a single leg deadlift. Coming up, plant your leg wide. So then you're gonna swing. One, two, three. And then we're gonna go back in that same left leg balance one more time, and then the other side. So just to each side. Shoulder blades back and down, single leg deadlift. Lift, plant your wet leg wide. Ready, step one, two, knees will be soft, three, just a little, back into that left side. I think next time, swing, can try, go up and wait just a little. Three, other side. Belly, belly. There's our single, and then swing, three. Stack at the top, two, one. Back. Where's that core? Hold it strong, ah. swing, one. You're using your glutes to punch that weight forward, and three, perfect. All right. Coming down, quick little interim before we enter our second set. Just plank up for me on your forearms, shoulders up over those elbows, tuck it under, set it in. Push into the elbows, elbows pull back toward the toes. Hold on to it. 10 more, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, back to the top, our weighted burpee with three times overhead press, or you do your step back to upright row. Whatever kind of alternate, you can fit in there. Challenge your body with the combos, hold the core. Ready, set, push up. Jump in, one, two, three, number two. Keep your butt low till you get those weights to the shoulders. Three. Use your core always. Four, two, three, last one, Whew. one, two, three, 
Ah. Holy cow. Okay. We're going to do our push up to five times row. Set up that plank position, your push up position. Toes are nice and wide. Try our best not to wobble. Here we go, push up. And then row, five, four, three, two, one. Other side, push up. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides. Push up, you gotta use that core. Get into the glutes. Last one. Five, four, three, two, one. Shoulders back, obliques, quads, feel it all. Okay. Half squat times three to a full squat. Go up a teeny bit. Hips are tucked under just slightly. Belly strong. Get ready to drive that butt back first. Feet just outside. Hip width. One, two, three. Punch it up, one. Pull, two. Try not to bounce. Be in control of your stop. One. Three. Last round. Three. One. Ah. Whew. Builds the heat. All right. Suitcase row. To three times, kick back. Feet under hips. Drop your back nice and low, your chest low. Keep back flat. Row it up. Three. Two, one. Drop those hands, squeeze up. Three, you got it. Two, one. Open that chest. Make sure you're dropping with control. Two more sets. Last one. Squeeze it up. Three, two, one. Whew. Okay. Now we're going to do a single leg deadlift to swing. Okay. I'm going to start with right foot on the ground this time. One. Single leg deadlift. Take your time, make it count. Drive up through that glute. Wide legs, three swings. Three, two, contract. One. One more on this side. Plant your feet. Flex those glutes. Three, switch, left leg on the ground, left foot, coming up, swing, hinge, contract, one, two, three, one more, belly strong, 
to find that whole chain of flexion. And three. Whew. Coming down. We're going to hit a quick side plank this time. And then our last step. Just a few seconds on this side. A few seconds on the other. Back off that heart rate just a little. Maybe try lifting your top leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch it over. Other side. Lift the top leg if you'd like. Open that chest. Make sure you're not collapsing through the rib cage. Make your body long. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Weighted burpee to three times press. Last round. Gear up. More than anything, it's going to be the core. Make sure that we're keeping that core super intact. Okay. Ready, set, go. Push up. Ooh, that was a fair push up. Drop hips, curl. Three, two, one. Back, core, butt. Set two. Keep it out of the neck. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Step five. Three, two, one. Huh. Okay, push up to row. Four push ups, five pulls each side. Here we go. Push up. Level one, two, three, four, five. Other side. Push up. Three. Trying to keep those hips level. Five. Back to your first side. Push up, five, four, three, shoulder up over that wrist, two, one, Whew. okay, squats, three mid range to full. Get your half one. Stop it in the middle. All the way up. One. Press all the way. Here's our third. Get that core. Four. Drive through those heels and five. Sit into it. 
drive. Whew, okay. Suitcase, row to kickback. Three kickbacks, five total sets. Row, three, two, one, and drop. One, there's two. Three, two more sets. Pinch between shoulder blades. Keep the core alive. Last step, flat, flat back. See if you can keep your elbows up with the back. And done. Whew. Okay. Single leg deadlift to swing. I'm going to go five swings this time. Get a couple extra. All right. Left leg on the ground. Right hand holds the right. Hinge forward, five swings. Hinge, flex with those glutes, two. Get your stack at the top, four, five. Back to left leg on the ground, hinge. Ready, set, swing, five. Four, three, two, flat back, keeping your shoulder blade tucked in. Okay, right leg on the ground. Long back, drive up through your heel, swing. One, two. Three, four, five. Here we go. Last one. Make it count. Drive up through the heel. Hinge, thrust. One, two, three. And done. All right. Let's go through a full round. Planks. 30 seconds each. Ready, set, and go. Shoulder heads up past your elbow crease. Chest between the elbows. Push into your elbows. Elbows pull back toward your toes, tuck your tailbone, flex the glutes, flex your core, course, four, three, two, turn to one elbow in that side, trying not to drop a knee, not to drop your hip, let's go straight over. If you'd like, lift the top leg and just hold. Scan your body. Where are you contracting? Flexing. While ultimately focusing on that oblique. All right, ready? And rotate. Other side. Again, try not to put your knees down or your hips down. Open that chest. Let your legs smile. Halfway there. <sighs> Driving those hips. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Lying on our back. We're going to start off 
<sighs> Hug your knees into the chest. And then arms go out in a T. Rotate your knees to the left. Really try to push your right shoulder into the ground. That was fun. Those push-ups got me. Now push-ups. Okay, extend your top leg straight. See if you can grab your toe with your hand. <sighs> Bend your knees back. Keep your feet off the ground, knees together. Rotate through center to the other side. Still in that T with your arms. And then bend, or I'm sorry, straighten your top leg. See if you can catch your toe with your hand. If not, you can try using a strap or a t-shirt, towel, whatever. Feel ready for the day. Okay, bend back, bring your knees up. If you have that strap, uh, go ahead and use it again. Left foot, you'd put your strap around the ball of the foot. Drop your left hip onto the ground, kind of pull your left toe out toward your left shoulder. If you'd like, uh, if you don't have a strap, then release your hands behind your calf or your thigh. Maybe your leg is out here. That's fine. Pull the toe back. Maybe use a wall um, again or that strap. We want to try to get that stretch anywhere belong, or along the back side of the leg. So I definitely feel my hamstring, but I also feel kind of low calf down near my Achilles. So depending on where you're tight, that's where you're going to feel it. Cross the ankle over your opposite knee. Grab your hands behind that thigh. Flex both feet, pull in. Um, if you are tight, your SI joint, your glutes, if this is like, oh, for you, um, scientific term right there, please use a wall or a bench or something stable to put your right leg, that away leg against, so that you can push some pressure into that left knee. And get that pull deep in. This is such a fantastic stretch. If you want to incorporate this into your daily routine, I think within a few weeks you would notice quite a big difference in your back and glutes. Half the time even energy level. Okay, dropping your left foot on the ground. Right leg comes up. Put your strap behind or around the ball of your foot if you'd like. Or interlace your hands behind your calf or round your thigh, flex that foot, ground that heel or the hip into the ground. Thank you all so much for the feedback. I really appreciate it. I am not here for me. I'm here for you. <laughs> Cross your ankle over the knee, pull from behind your other thigh, flex both feet. Um, I definitely train you or choose and program my sessions based on how I want my body to feel. So there is an aspect of that. But um, like I said, I'm here for you. I want to help you get where you're going. Um, and I am at your disposal. So please feel free to reach out at any time. Ask questions, offer comments, constructive criticism. There's only one way to get better, and it's by feedback, helpful feedback. So please honor me in that way. Tuck your knees in, come up. Let's go into our butterfly stretch with feedback. I'm not fishing for compliments, but more just how I can um, really help, help you, help others. Of course, I would love to broaden my scope and reach out to more people. So share the love, share the links.
All right, standing up. Let's start with a wide base of support. Back into those twists we started with. So plant your left hand, lift your right arm up, drop it down, twist the other way. Train your best to keep those hips level. It's not the end of the world, but kind of thinking about it. Last time. Bring your feet closer together. Hinge over, plant your hands if you can. If not, hopefully you're getting close. <clears throat> Grab that core, inhale, come all the way up. <sighs> Exhale, give yourself a hand, great work. As always, thank you, and I'll see you tomorrow.